Aloha Galactic Beings, thanks for joining me. So I got a freaking download last night and I don't know if y'all even ready for this information, but so this is very sciencey, that's why I say that. I paid attention in school and I got all A's, graduated top of my class. So it, it kinda came easy for me to piece this information together, but as you know, the ascension we're talking about moving from carbon-based beings into crystalline beings. And how is that gonna work? So humans are carbon-based beings. Anything found in nature is carbon-based. Carbon has six protons, neutrons, and electrons. We're transitioning from these our material forms into crystallized forms of light. And how is that gonna work? Through becoming silica-based beings. So <clears throat> Silica is silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is the same thing as quartz crystals. And quartz crystals, if you don't know, is a semiconductor. It is a transmitter of light information as well as being able to store light information at a much more higher degree than carbon, which is the melanin that is created from sunlight, right? So quartz crystals is quartz sand. It's what's found in anything communication based, radios, telephones, like um, computer chips, it's a semiconductor, it's a metalloid, so it's non-metallic, and it's like carbon as well, but it's a better conductor, and it's able to withstand higher frequency forms of light codes than carbon. So, so in order for the transition to be easy and seamless for you, the more carbon you have, the easier it's going to be. So, you need melanin to survive. The more melanin, the more carbon that you have in your physical bodies, the more chi energy, mana, the more um, energy from the sun you're able to harness in your physical vessel. So if you look at the carbon atom, it has six protons, neutrons, and electrons, which is the key to our God consciousness. And the thing is that we, an atom is mostly empty space, right? It's 99.99 .99 some empty space. And its weight comes from the proton, neutron in the middle, positive, positive and neutral charge, and electrons are the negative charge. It's the ions on the outside. Diamonds are formed under intense amounts of heat and pressure in order to get the carbon into crystallized form. Whereas silicon dioxide, which is quartz sand, is already in naturally found in crystallized forms. So, the, cl the higher that we vibrate, our bodies are going to have to be able to bring in the higher light codes, and by doing this, we're going to become crystallized, crystalline beings. So, s silicon actually loses electrons more easily, it becomes charged more easily, and it's more amorphous and mutable with the energies around you. So, in order for us to be ready to exist in our new upgraded phys physiology, we're going to have to be in the 5D all the time for us to be able to exist there and that's going to be a reality where the matrix collapse where all the system is just gonna no longer exist because only carbon only things with carbon is going to make it through the shift period so from the sheer intensity of the ionic charge everything is from the so everything that can't merge with the light is actually going to burn and collapse and this is the end of the matrix. The, the, the government is going to say that this green light is bad for you and you have to stay inside and all that bullshit, but it's very fear based and they don't want, they, they can't stop the awakening regardless. It's already happening. We're, we already won. Earth is with us. So as we upgrade, we become the technology. And if you've taken Ormus before, it's monoatomic gold. Gold is like a superconductor. It's um, allowing more light to flow through you. It's allowing um, us to be more efficient and fast paced with. Um, the energies around us. So I'm just going to explain plasma really quick. So we all know solid liquid gas and plasma is the fourth state of matter. So plasma is an ionized gas and what that means is that it's actually um, gas that is heated or charged so the electrons are actually separated from the protons and it's moving, vibrating at a much faster frequency. So plasma is found in stars, it's found in the sun and if you look at the northern lights it's also um, light energy is the ionized energy of the gas that's like moving around so um, People talk about the solar flare and how in the final days like when it's time to ascend there's gonna be this Mysterious green glowing light gas thing outside from the center of the earth or from Portals in the higher dimensions and all that is is plasma. It is the Christ consciousness returning to the earth So the color green so it's it's the Christ consciousness returning and in order to Become it you have to go outside and actually merge with the it's gonna look that it's gonna look like the northern lights That's what I think 
but it's very amorphous and at that time our bodies are already going to be upgraded enough that we're able to receive the free electrons from the plasma so as we become silicon based beings we're going to be ready to silica based we're going to be ready to merge with the light of the divine so thank you for joining me i hope this video helped you understand it on a scientific level why this shift is happening from carbon to crystalline from carbon based to silica based 3d into 5d and yeah matrix is not going to exist anymore only things that have carbon in it so thank you for joining me plasma can conduct electricity and respond to a magnetic field so as you know earth has its own geomagnetic field and she knows that gaia knows the direction that we're moving in and yeah i just wanted to share this perspective on the ascension and share this with people and before you try to say anything and tell me i'm wrong or anything i did my own research do your own research first and the scientific part i got right because i looked it all up and i did but this information came to me as a download i would say because i was like a freaking mad scientist for like an hour straight last night so yeah it's just piecing together everything that i kind of already known for a while and hopefully it was helpful